A full-scale aircraft impact test conducted at Sandia National Laboratories in New Mexico, USA, in 1988. An actual F-4 Phantom jet fighter was used in the test. The geometry of the finite element model of the aircraft is adjusted to fit to the data given in the test report and also available publicly. Two engines, a fuel tank, and water to simulate the fuel weight are considered in the numerical model. The numerical results show good agreements with the experimental ones as to an impact force, damage to the wall and the crushing behavior of the aircraft. An aircraft generally consists of many components such as a fuselage, main wings, tail wings, engines, landing gears, avionics equipment, ribs, stringers, seats, fuel tanks with fuel inside, and so forth. To take every component into account in a numerical model requires a lot of human resources in addition to increasing loads on a computing capacity, because it is not an easy task in most cases to obtain detailed data on the geometrical arrangements of these parts, especially military aircraft. In this study we propose a finite element model which is reasonably simple and accurate enough to simulate the impact of an aircraft on a deformable target. The fundamental idea is to consider only major components having large masses like a fuselage, wings, engines and fuel. They are modeled so that their shapes and sizes are in agreement with the ones of actual aircraft. The masses of other remaining components are distributed uniformly to the fuselage and the wings. As for the constitutive model the strain hardening and the strain rate effects are considered because of the highly nonlinear characteristics of the impact phenomena. The primary purpose of the test was aimed at determining the impact force as a function of time when an F-4 Phantom impacts onto a massive, essentially rigid, reinforced concrete. Instead a sled with a carriage structure was attached on the under surface of the aircraft. The sled was mounted on two rails of 600 meter long which guided the F-4, accelerated by rockets, to the target. The total impact weight was 19 tons comprising 12.7 tons of the F-4, 1.5 tons of the sled and the carriage, 4.8 tons of water which is used to simulate the weight of fuel. The target was a rectangular block of reinforced concrete 7 meter square and 3.66 meter thick which weighs 469 tons. It was placed on an air bearing platform which enabled almost free movement in the direction of impact. The geometry of the fuselage of the F-4 Phantom is created first by the general purpose mesh generation computer program, then the obtained geometry is imported into the finite element model. The size of the F-4 is adjusted to fit to the configurations because of the intense impact loading condition a constitutive model for the material of the aircraft is required to consider the strain hardening and the strain rate effects. The Johnson-Cook model is adopted in the material properties of the 2024 T-351 aluminum. Most components of the aircraft are modeled by shell elements except the engines and the water inside the fuel tank. The surface nodes of the water and the ones of the tank are rigidly joined. The following material properties are used for the water, density 3 times 100.1 kg per cubic meter, bulk modulus 2.25 GPa, hydrotensile limit minus 2.5 MPa. A numerical method to scale the density of the aluminum which is increased by 4 times that of the reference one. Without this technique the thickness of the fuselage and the wings should be specified as 16 mm in order to match the weight of 9.2 tons. We assume that a reasonable thickness is about one-fourth of it. The concrete wall is divided uniformly, each element is approximately a cube of 0.1 meter. In order to represent the material nonlinearity of the concrete, following specific features like pressure hardening, strain hardening, strain rate hardening and damage with tensile crack softening. The reinforcing bars which are modeled by beam elements. The ratio of reinforcement of the test is 0.4%. The same ratio is applied to the model. The following material properties of the steel are used, Young's modulus 206 gigapascals, Poisson's ratio 0.3, yield strength 490 megapascals, ultimate strength 740 megapascals, ultimate strain 0.19. The impact forces obtained by the test and by the simulation are compared the two results agree well in both shape and magnitude. This agreement is brought about by the feature of the numerical model, namely, the mass distributions of the engines and water are approximately reproduced, and the sum of the weight of these components amounts to almost 50% of the weight of the aircraft. The impact force of the simulation is evaluated by differentiating the momentum response of the concrete by time. The obtained transient curve is then shifted 8 milliseconds to the origin in order to compare its peaks with the test ones after a smoothing is applied. This delay in the simulation side is attributed to the two factors, namely, 1, the rockets and the sled are disregarded, and 2, the front section of the fuselage is considered to be heavier and stronger than that of the actual F-4.
The minor peak at 80 milliseconds is caused by the impact of the tailwings. This discrepancy may be explained by the different mass distribution of the aircraft between the test and the simulation as mentioned above. The impact of the engines caused craters which appeared as eyes. The crater depth was 60 mm according to the test while that is 65 to 75 mm by the simulation. The impact of the fuselage inflicted only minor damage to the target to form a shallow dent on the surface. The distinct shape like a flattened pear is formed similarly by the simulation. The impact of the rockets and the sled caused major damage to the concrete. This cannot be reproduced by the simulation as their contributions are not considered. The following results by performing the simulation of an F-4 Phantom crashing into a reinforced concrete wall and comparing the numerical results with the test ones. The crushing behavior of the F-4 was successfully reproduced the magnitude and the shape of the impact force was approximately reproduced except that the arrival time of the first peak is delayed and a minor peak is obtained by the impact of the tail wings the distinct feature of craters caused by the impact of engines are reproduced we may conclude that the numerical model adopted in this study is useful to predict the dynamic response of a reinforced concrete wall impacted by the F4. In order to improve the accuracy of the simulation the mass distribution of the fuselage needs to be reviewed for future studies.